Okay, guys, we're going to find the equation of these three lines uh, for this one. So let's just uh, remember first the generic equation of a straight line. Okay, y equals m x plus c. Okay, so the two important things we need to remember in this one is m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Okay, so we have to work out both of what both sorry work out what both of those ones are and just insert them into this formula to find the formula of this red line here. Okay, I'm going to find the gradient first. Okay, we know that the gradient is our rise over the run. So we need to draw a right angle triangle somewhere on this line. Now the only sort of points we know is that point there and that point there. Okay, so we know that there is three because that this is the coordinate three, four. So there's three. We know that that one there is two. Okay, so and we know that that one there is four because that's the point three, four. Okay, so that's going to give us a rise going from two up to four. That's a rise, if my maths is correct, of two. So it's going to go up two. And the run. Okay, it starts at zero and goes out to the to the point three. So the run there is three. Slope is positive. Slope dude's going up the hill, so it gives us a positive slope. That so m the gradient is going to be two thirds. Okay, because it's got a rise of two and a run of three. So we can actually write that in. C sorry y equals m. We just worked out that that's two thirds x. And now we have to add in the y-intercept. Well, it's given it to us there, too. Okay, so this red line cuts the y-axis at the point two. So that's the equation of the line, y equals two-thirds x plus two. Okay, let's have a look at the second one. Again, y equals m x x plus c is our equation. We have to work out the gradient, okay? So we're going to draw in our right angle triangle there because they're the points we've been given, okay? So let's find out what our rise is. Well, if we start at minus 2 and we go up to, that's the point 3, okay, minus 2 up to 3, that is a rise of 5, okay? 2, 3, 4, 5, that's a rise of 5. And the run, okay, well, 4, because it's given us the coordinate 4, 3. So the x coordinate is 4. So it gives us a run of 4. So the slope all up, okay, rise is 5, run is 4, so the slope is 5 quarters. And again, it's positive because it's going that way. So if we write that into our formula, y equals 5 quarters x. C is the y-intercept where this line cuts the y-axis, and you can see underneath my scribble, it cuts the y-axis at minus 2. So the equation of that line is y equals 5 quarters x minus 2. Let's do the last one. y equals mx plus c. We need to find m, the gradient, okay, um, rise of 3. A run of 5, so it's 3 over 5. Now, slope dude's gone down the hill, so that's a negative slope. And y equals negative 3 over 5x. And the y-intercept, where this red line cuts the y-axis, cuts it there at 3, plus 3. There's the equation of the straight line there.